we're going to talk about some tips to get over feeling socially awkward and shy when you're taking photos out in public. I am now in Stockholm and I'm gonna do some photos out in public so I thought I would also sit down and just talk about some tips that I've overcome that fear and feeling well to be honest very ridiculous and almost kind of self-centered and just worrying about what people think about me when I'm out about and about taking these photos so let's sit down chat about it a little bit and also I'll show you some of the behind the scenes of the photo shoot I did here in Stockholm. When people say that you should just get over yourself and not care what people passing by are thinking when they see you taking a photo out in public and maybe it's a photo that you're taking of yourself, by yourself, um, that is much easier said than done. And even though practice will definitely make it easier and will make you kind of get over that hump, I want to share some quick tips uh, that I've learned in this process of taking my own photos for many years now, going out with the tripod, with the camera and the self timer and all that jazz. Um, and to let you know that you are not alone and if you feel ridiculous and very self-conscious then I am there with you, but you should not let that stop you. So let's go into these tips and talk about it and maybe it will just feel a little bit easier next time you're gonna go out in public and take photos. So my first tip is to plan ahead that you sat down at home and just sketched it out or planned or looked at some inspiration photos on what it is that you want to go and shoot when you go out there so you don't have to decide on the spot. You will most likely still have to improvise when you get to your location. So just take some time and plan ahead. The second one, when you're actually planning ahead, is to already try to think of a location. So where you want to take that photo, maybe if you've seen a location beforehand and when you're choosing, of course, you want to kind of choose the one that is most inspiring and kind of works for your photo, but try to then also maybe think about choosing spots that aren't so busy. And maybe if you can go out at a time where there's not a lot of people, you know, going to or from work. Um, so if you can just plan that your schedule a little bit, usually kind of middle of the day, nobody's really kind of out and about or in the evenings or really early in the mornings. The next one is to take somebody with you. And obviously if you do this alone, you cannot take somebody with you, but to get to that step that you actually dare to go out alone, it can help if you have a buddy with you. So just somebody, even if they're not really helping take the photo, just having somebody there with you can just help immensely in not feeling so, you know, weird uh, about taking out the tripod and all that <laughs> in the street. And also if you live in a very busy city, it can be good to have somebody who can kind of stand with a camera and guard it a little bit. I've taken tons of photo shoots out in London. It's super busy, a lot of people and I always get a little bit scared that what if somebody just comes and you know snatches the camera so that does add a little bit of pressure and stress but if you have somebody who can come with you and just kind of be your spiritual support then <laughs> go ahead and try that out. The next tip is to try to have a lot of time. So one of the things I do when I come to my location often it will feel very weird to go from kind of mundane pedestrian just person anonymously walking along the street to okay this is my creative photo shoot I'm a photographer and a model. That switch I find uh, very painful <laughs> so I try to have a lot of time. I kind of just like scout about, lurk a little, probably looks weird uh, but I just find that having that time and I set up my camera slowly, take a few photos and just kind of clean the space, get comfortable, that helps so much. So if you have time then please reserve a bit more time than you think you're gonna need. And the last tip is to step out of your comfort zone because your goal is worth it. So no matter what you encounter when you go out, remember to keep your eyes on the goal and that you're taking this photo because it's something that is important to you. Don't get caught up in whatever insecurities that might rise from other looking at what you're doing because this is something that in the end you will be so proud of if you get over that hump and something that you will have with you. And I know I said in the beginning this thing of like, it's easy to say, don't care and get over yourself, but it really is, it comes down to that and just being in your own bubble and remembering again why you're doing it. You have a story and a vision you want to tell and something that will bring you joy. And even if for that short second, it means being very uncomfortable, it is so worth it. And some days it will feel easier, other days it will feel horrible, but that's just also part of the process. Yeah. 
Also, just remember, it's so much easier to make fun or judge somebody when you're sitting kind of at the side of the arena and you're not doing something. So if somebody's giving you criticism or thinks that what you're doing is stupid or ridiculous, but they're not actually doing it, don't mind that. They don't know what they're doing. At least you're going for it. At least you're trying to grow and, you know, step out of your comfort zone. So, you know, let that judgment or whatever just go right past you and just think to yourself you are actually growing you're doing something that is important for you all right i hope this gave you some motivation and inspiration let me know about your adventures or if you're taking photos uh, outside and if you'd like to see more of my photos then come and say hi i'm over at kutubakika on instagram all right thank you so much for watching this see you bye there's a bee in my bonnet hello hello a bee in my bonnet hello there's a bee in my bonnet hello hello a bee in my bonnet hello